morning and welcome to St Peter's Church in Ipsley. And my name is Jackie Street and we will spend time together this morning studying the scripture and praying and looking deeper into the words of the Lord and see what he has to say for us this morning. And our Bible reading will be John 12 to 17. Our morning prayer. Lord, may nothing separate us from you today. Teach us how to choose only your way today, so each step will lead us closer to you. Help us to walk by your word and not by our feelings. Help us to keep our hearts pure and undivided. Protect us from our own careless thoughts, words and actions, and keep us from being distracted by our wants and desires and our thoughts on how things should be. Help us to embrace what comes our way as an opportunity rather than a personal inconvenience. Amen. Our psalm this morning will be Psalm 65, and this will be followed by our Bible reading, John 15, 12 to 17.
our Bible reading, John 15, 12 to 17. Continuation of the vine and the branches. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants, because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends, for everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you, so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. And so that wherever you ask, whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. This is my command, love each other. And this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus starts this scripture reading with the word command. That is not a gentle request or an invitation. It's a strong instruction and not to be ignored. Love each other as I have loved you. The term friends in these verses is an important endearment. It's not a fleeting association, not as maybe we would use the term friend to introduce someone we may have known only a short time. This is my friend, even though we've only known them for a week or two and we don't really know them. Jesus' reference to his disciples as his friends would have been to their credit and would have shown what a true close relationship he had with them. Greater love hath no one than to lay down one's life for one's friends. Jesus did indeed lay down his life for his friends. But for the disciples, they would not have considered themselves to be friends to the master. This was not the way of the hierarchy. They could even have considered themselves slaves in some quarters. Following closely to the master's wishes, they would have been grateful to have been allowed to be taught by a great teacher and very willing to serve. But they are no longer servants, but friends. This would have been a completely new concept for them. This term now relates to us and to all believers. Over time, we have become friends of Jesus and Jesus laid down his life for all believers to be given so that we can have a close relationship with him. If we have children, we parent them and expect them to obey the rules so they have a structure to their lives. Hopefully, as they grow older, we will become friends with them and the relationship changes its dynamics. Jesus draws on the relationship that he has with his father as he followed his father's commandments and received his father's love. So he wants this relationship with us. He doesn't have this master, doesn't want to have this master-servant relationship, as he doesn't have this with his father. And he doesn't want that for us. They have a love relationship, and he wants this relationship of love and intimacy with us, as we closely follow him. Jesus talks of a joy shared. When we have an exciting experience, we want to share it with someone, a partner or a friend. So it's a shared joy. And this joy with Jesus is a shared joy. And we have to share that great joy. 
show others that we have this close relationship with Jesus. And he finds joy in us when we do his will. This is a remarkable relationship. And we have an amazing privilege. In verse 14, Jesus says, you are my friends if you do what I command you. Jesus goes on to say, we need to love one another. This is harder. We do not always like everyone, let alone love them. There have been many popular songs over the years on this topic. What the world needs now is love, sweet love, and love is the answer. This is just to mention two songs. Both of these are fine sentiments, and I don't think anyone would disagree with what the world needs now is love. We don't always like all people or like what they do, but somehow we need to love them as Jesus would. Point them to the cross and pray about them, bringing them to the Lord for him to touch their hearts and mould them to be more like him. We are children of God and God cares about what we are like on the inside. In Matthew 22, 35 to 40, we can read the greatest commandment. Hearing that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, the Pharisees got together. One of them, an expert in the law, tested him with this question. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? And Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and the greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbour as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. Ordinarily at this time, disciples would choose the master or the teacher they wanted to follow and learn from. But here, Jesus goes on to state, I chose you. You didn't choose me. Jesus chose us to have a relationship with him to become friends with him and to love. We have to welcome him into our lives. But this great love and forgiveness is there for each believer to have and to hold. Jesus chose us to go and bear the fruit in the world around us. This scripture reading ends, love each other. And let us pray. We thank you, Lord, that you chose us to be your friends and followers. We thank you for your forgiveness and for the sacrifice you made for us. Help us to stay close to you and to be worthy of the friendship you offer. Help us to love others as you have loved us. Give us wisdom we need when we reach out to others in your name. Protect us in unknown circumstances. Open the hearts of those we speak to so that they will come to know you and have a relationship with you. Forgive us when we fail. In your holy name we pray. Amen. And in our prayer diary for today, we're asked to pray again for Worcester West Rural Team. Dear Lord, we give thanks for the ministry team and the ALMs 
who selflessly served the parishes across the Worcester West Rural Team Benefits. We pray especially today for assistant priests, Jennifer Whitaker, Mike Gardner, and Ruth Whittle. Lord, bless each of them as they strive to do your will. Amen. Lord, we bring to you all those who are ill at this time, all those needed your comfort and healing, all those who are lonely, those suffering depression and sadness. Many are looking after family members who are ill, short or long term, those recovering from operations. Give carers the strength, patience and understanding to cope with their burdens and responsibility of care. Lord, many people need your support, physically, mentally or financially. Be with them all. You know them all, and we bring them to you in our prayers. Amen. Thank you, God, for everything we have and everything you have given to us for all the good things, for being beside us when the bad things happen, for all the lessons we have learned from troublesome times, for happy days of lightness and joy, for upholding us during the sad times of grief and sorrow, for the balance of light and dark that keeps challenging us and making us fruitful. For every time you have rescued us and given us strength. For the faith you have instilled in us. Help us to water this faith with your love and encourage our trust in you. Thank you for your faithfulness and promise to never leave us. Amen. Lord, we come to you for wisdom for the future of, in your churches in this area including all the surrounding churches, as we work together for your glory and greater following. Help all our clergy and leaders have your insight as to the best way forward to create greater numbers, worshipping your holy name and singing your praises in your church buildings and in the community. Show us a way to inspire and excite new enriched faith, to stir up your followers to great things, to lift your name and inspire families and young people to take your forgiveness and love for them into their hearts and minds. Those who have been your faithful followers, to know refreshment and to be filled anew as we find a new way forward Lord, help us to follow your will. Amen. And let us finish with our Lord's Prayer. Our Father in, in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And I thank you for being with me this morning. And I hope you will join us again tomorrow when Reverend Garth Nathaniel will be leading our time together. And we'll finish now with a song from our music band. All the room was hushed and still. Bye bye. And I do hope you have a very blessed day. <laughs> was hushed and still and when the bowl was filled he stooped to wash their feet 
And when it was complete He said This is what I'm asking you to do This is why I'm kneeling here beside you This is what I want my church to be This is what I want the world to see Who it is you follow Love each other One another Love each other In the way that I have loved you Walk together And whatever comes Love each other In the way that I have loved you Let the room be hushed and still Let us go to where he kneels And join him as he serves And learn his ways of love He said this is what I'm asking you to do This is why I'm kneeling here beside you This is what I want my church to be This is what I want the world to see Who it is you follow Love each other One another Love each other in the way that I have loved you Walk together and whatever comes Love each other in the way that I have loved you